Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. We talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm your host, Jeffrey, and subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. We just passed 180 subs. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart, and hope I continue to make great content you guys will enjoy in the future. Now, the Week 2 AP Top 25 poll is out in college basketball, and there's not a lot of movement because a lot of these teams are playing cupcake games, so if, you, if, as long as you win, you're not going to move down. But there was some movement in the Top 25, and I'm going to go over where the AP voters rank these teams and what I think about them. North Carolina is still the number one team, and they have relatively beat to – mid-major opponents, so obviously North Carolina is not going to move down. They've been pretty dominant, so they haven't been perfect, but North Carolina is still going to be the number one team. Gonzaga's at number two, and they beat a bad team. But then they beat Michigan State by one, and if they had a loss to Michigan State, they would have dropped, but they held on, so the AP voters keep them at number two. Houston's at number three, and they've beat a couple of bad teams. Kentucky's at number four. So all these teams are staying in the same spots because they won. Baylor's at number five, and Baylor beat a couple of bad teams. But Baylor and Kansas were tied for fifth last week, but now Kansas drops to number six. I guess the voters feel Baylor's looked a little bit more dominant than Kansas, even though Kansas is without Bill Self right now at head coach. But Kansas just drops down to six, so no harm, no foul there. Duke's at number seven, and they've struggled a little bit against the bad teams that they've played against, but they've still played relatively well. And the AP voters still almost put Duke ahead of Kansas. They were only two votes behind, so they're – AP voters still think Duke's doing really good. UCLA is at number eight, and UCLA has been very dominant in their wins as well. So UCLA stays at number eight. Arkansas moves up to number nine, and Arkansas moves up one because Creighton's kind of struggling in their wins, and Creighton moves down to number 10. Creighton is still really good, and I think they're going to have a great season, but they have not been very dominant in their wins, and I guess the AP voters felt moving Arkansas ahead of Creighton would suffice since Creighton has struggled a bit. Texas moves up number 11 because Tennessee lost, and we'll get to them. And Texas has been very dominant in their wins so far. Indiana as well. Indiana's moved up number 12, and Indiana's been playing very well against their bad opponents. Auburn moves up to number 13. Auburn's been playing really well, and that's why they move up. Arizona moves up number 14. They've been dominant. A lot of these teams are just playing bad opponents. We'll know how good these teams are when they play better opponents. TCU moves down to number 15. They drop one because they've struggled against poor competition as well. I still think TCU is a good team. They have moved down one because they've struggled a little bit. Virginia has moved up number 16. San Diego State moves up number 17. Alabama moves up number 18. All moving up two spots because they've all played well against their competition and teams that were ahead of them lost. Illinois moves up four spots to number 19 because they've been very dominant. They actually leapfrog Michigan because Illinois was number 22 and Michigan was 23, but Michigan is now behind Illinois because Michigan hasn't been as dominant as Illinois has so far, and the AP voters felt moving Illinois ahead of Michigan, but they're both very, very close. Dayton's at number 21, and Dayton's been very dominant against their team. Dayton's looking really solid for a team in the Atlantic 10, and Dayton looks like they might have a great season. Tennessee is the big one, though. They dropped to number 22 from number 11, and that's why all those teams moved ahead because Tennessee lost to Colorado at home. That was a tough loss, very surprising loss, and that's why Tennessee dropped as far as they did. I'm actually kind of maybe almost shocked they didn't drop out. I know that they were number 11, and it's hard to drop a team all the way out for losing one game, but Colorado's not the greatest team, and that was a very tough loss for Tennessee. Texas Tech's at number 23, Texas A&M's at number 24, and UConn's at number 25. Texas A&M now enters the poll because they were not ranked, and same with UConn, but Texas Tech was 25th, but all these teams move up because teams lost and they've played very, very well. And in the other receiving votes, you've got Michigan State, who almost entered the poll even though they lost to Gonzaga, but Michigan State was very solid. They only lost by one point. The AP voters almost put Michigan State in the top 25, but they just have them right outside, and if they keep winning, they will be in the top 25, but they do have a tall test against Kentucky. If they can win that game, they will be ranked. Purdue is on the outside looking in, and Purdue's looking pretty decent so far this season, so if they keep winning, they will be ranked. Villanova was the other surprise, and that's why teams moved ahead as well in the top 25, because Villanova lost to Temple. Villanova was ranked 16, but they dropped out of the top 25 for losing to Temple, and they're going to have to start winning some games again if they're going to get back in the top 25. Miami is in other team votes. They've looked pretty solid as well. St. Louis, Xavier, Xavier can get a big win over Indiana this week. They might probably be in the top 25. Oregon dropped out as well because Oregon lost to UC Irvine. They were ranked 21, but that was a tough loss for Oregon on their own court to lose to UC Irvine. That's why they dropped out. Iowa, Ohio State, Memphis, Virginia Tech, Colorado. Colorado is now in the other team votes after beating Tennessee, but they lost to Grambling, which is why they're not ranked right now. They might be ranked if they hadn't lost that game. They could get moving to the top 25 to keep winning. Arizona State, Toledo, Rutgers, 
St. Mary's, Florida Grambling, UC Irving, Seton Hall, and Penn State are all teams in the other receiving votes that can move into the top 25 and keep winning. And, yes, it is very early. And Villanova and Oregon drop from the rankings, and they can definitely move back in if they can regain their form and start playing better. It's very early, and a lot of these teams, we don't know if they deserve to be in the top 25 or not, but everything's going to shake out once these teams start playing better opponents. And outside of the Tennessee and Villanova and Oregon losses, there wasn't much movement, but still upsets are already happening early in the season. It's really going to be really interesting to see how the top 25 in college basketball shakes out moving forward. Comment down below what you think about the AP Top 25 and what you feel about where the AP voters rank the teams. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Like this video down below, and I will see you next time.